Vaiguji ka khalsa, Vaiguji ki fateh. Welcome Sangat ji to another Sangat Health TV show. Aaj da show hai ga ya pregnancy ware. So how do we have a healthy pregnancy? So it's your das, Dr. Jasvi Sangarival and my lovely co-host Dr. Kiran Sangera. Thank you. Hi. And we have a lovely guest with us today who has come from a busy NHS practice. She works all week and we got her to come on a Sunday to come and do this presentation for you. And it's Dr. Jyoti Rachna, consultant, obstetrician and gynecologist um, who works locally in the NHS and privately. So thank you and welcome. So we look forward to hearing some of the wisdom of how do we have a healthy pregnancy. My pregnancy, a very important time in a woman's life. Um, and it is very important for her to be healthy for a healthy baby. So there's certain important things that she needs to remember that she, her well-being is linked to the well-being of the baby. So she needs to be happy, be well supported by the partner, the husband, the family. She needs to identify that she needs rest on a daily basis. So although working daily and most of the time they think now they, there's a young baby coming and I need to work harder and that is what she needs to understand. Yes, she needs to work harder but she needs some time for herself. So daily rest is very important. She needs to sleep well, so make sure that the hours of sleep are adequate sleep. But apart from that, on a daily basis, eating healthy continues pre-pregnancy, pregnancy, after delivery. So that's an ongoing thing which she needs to maintain. When I say eat healthy, it's like eating nutritious food. Having said that, from time and again, uh, the food that we Indians have, especially for pregnancy, quite a few of them are very apt for it to provide all the different nutritions. In the beginning of pregnancy, we would always recommend that they continue to take the folic acid at least till 12 weeks. The first trimester, which is up to 13, 12, 13 weeks of pregnancy, quite a few women will be very sick, feeling not, don't feel like eating. I would say don't worry about it. Try eat as much as you can well. Start with small portions spread out in the day rather than try to have a full meal at a time and not keeping any of that in, it will get better. Quite a few women will get up in the morning and they might be better with just taking maybe half a slice of bread or a little chapati, some, a dry toast, before they go on to have something liquid and they tend to fare better. And in the meanwhile, they also would do well by taking vitamin B tablets because obviously they're not eating and they're throwing up. What they need to be careful about that if in the process they lose quite a bit of weight, then it starts going into the abnormal area. So it's not just pregnancy related sickness, it's a bad sickness. So then they need to come to the hospital, get it checked and some, some of them may need you know, fluids and injections to help them to overcome that period. Um, we often hear, I mean, at least I've always heard this when I've been in India is now you're pregnant, eat for two. Don't. You don't need to eat for two. You eat for yourself, but eat wisely and healthy. Because 
on an average in a pregnancy, women would gain about 10, 11 kilos of weight. But if she's gaining a lot more than that, say 20 kilos, 15 kilos, then that will start uh, causing problems in the pregnancy. It may be a trigger for her to have blood pressure problems while she's pregnant. It may be a trigger for her to have diabetes in pregnancy not only i mean not on even if someone does not have diabetes to start with the pregnancy can trigger women to have diabetes while they are pregnant and this is especially important for us asians because we are at a higher risk of having diabetes as a race as from the ethnicity so this is very important that they do sort of daily exercise some form of exercise it does not mean they've got to go to the gym they've got to do no um, no excessive exercise it should be actually they should be going for a walk swimming is allowed no intensive exercise no none of this new hit you know um you know lose weight quickly and uh, exercise rigorously um i suppose uh, sports boxing you know none of that You've got to kind of take that rest. And what's really interesting to me is that there is the body aspect. So this is a show that tries to address mind, body, and spiritual health. And we have a mind specialist here with us uh, in uh, Dr. Sangera. So I just wanted to ask Dr. Sangera, something about how do they remain mentally healthy also? Uh, in pregnancy. Any thoughts? Yeah, it's a really important question because it's the one of the biggest transitions that women will experience in their in their life. So on top of the, the life transition, you know, you've also got the hormones changing as well and such big adjustments going on. So I think it's really important to do a few things. Firstly, feel your emotions. There's there's no shame in being tearful or crying. Just let your emotions out. Um, also try to understand what is going on in your body as well. I feel like, you know, if we have the knowledge, that's just a lot more, um, it's less um, concerning, less unsettling. And try to incorporate in your day some kind of stress relieving technique, be that 10 minutes of deep breathing or meditation, mindfulness, Simran, Bart, something like that where you can literally just try to be present and your mind will continue to distract yourself with so many different worries now you have that you're pregnant but it's about acknowledging them but not dwelling on them and still trying to focus on the present and there are women who do enjoy pregnancy and say it's the most beautiful time if they're well supported and if they're blessed to have a, a healthy pregnancy so it's about just acknowledging it and trying to build these coping techniques and building our resilience so there's some mental tips for us so you know back to back to yourself now uh, dr rachna so any final kind of additional things that uh, the pregnancy we need to be aware of in pregnancy so most of the pregnancies will continue and uh, women will have a healthy baby without any problems but it is important that everyone goes for regular checkups and the checkups depending the frequency could be decided by wherever they are what's the practice in their area so it could be one thing in united kingdom another in us a uh, different pattern in india but it is about keeping an eye on everything as the pregnancy advances so that if there's any deviation from the normal then it is picked up and acted upon early so as in looking at baby's growth checking on mum's uh, blood pressure, checking on her health overall, and um, acting on it as per the need, and deciding on what needs to be done in future. Along with support from home, so if she's feeling very tired, you know, it would do really a big help for, you know, someone else in the family to step in, take a little of workload, or she, simple things like putting up the legs up, you know, in the day for a little while will cut down on the swelling in the legs, which adds to their trauma. So it's about making it as comfortable for yourself. Speak up if there is a problem, because what you don't want is a small problem to grow and become um, a bigger problem. Uh, so say, for example, if someone has a bit of a swelling in the leg and they, and it's painful 
and they haven't mentioned about it to anyone and they carry on and it turns out to be at a later stage that it's a clot in the leg because that's very common in pregnancy comparatively as compared to the non-pregnant state. But if they had acted upon it and they had been checked by a doctor and they had received the right medication for it, this wouldn't be a big problem. It would be sorted before it becomes a big problem. So it's all about being aware that you're pregnant. It is a physiological situation. It is not a disease. And yet there can be problems in it which needs to be acted upon well in advance. You know, we, know, we do need to be aware that uh, this is a family affair. This is not just the individual. Uh, it's up to the husband, the partner, the rest of the family to support that pregnancy. Um, in terms of work, it's really hard because there's pressures from hard-working uh, ladies out there who are used to having excellent careers. They, they, they sometimes feel compelled to have full-time working and also have their pregnancies. Um, and I think that there's a balance, isn't there? Because there's a healthy element to carrying on working as well. Um, so all we would say is that in the UK, we're very lucky. In the UK, you've got a set, you have a little file that uh, tells you all the pregnancy visits you should be going to, all the measurements you, of your, um, you know, in medical school, we used to measure, measure the, the, the lady at different uh, weeks. I remember those. But in other countries, there isn't that. But so India, Pakistan, wherever you are, you know, Europe, your health system is going to be slightly different. But the main message here is look after yourself. Don't, um, you know, try to be, you know, de-stress some of the mental aspects, the physiological aspects, uh, looking after and making sure you've got a healthy diet. And spiritually, in the end of the day, it's, 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 it's a jort coming. And we say that there's a spark coming from God. So all of us have soul within us, which is a spark from God. This is kind of, you know, what Sikhi is, is feeling uh, or is, is telling us. And therefore, if that spark from God is coming into this body, then we need to make it a welcoming place and a healthy place for it to sit. The health that a baby enjoys in the first nine months within its mum or thereabouts is going to set that baby up for a healthy life for 90 years. So it really is a worthy endeavor to ensure a healthy pregnancy. So thank you for listening, G. Um, I think from all of our guests, I think it's been a really, really lovely show. And I think um, thank you for, for your contributions. Um, Sangaji, thank you for listening. Again, this show will only help if you spread it. If you spread the word, you send these videos, they're short videos to your friends, and hopefully we can improve the health in the Sangat. And that's the mission of Sangat. TV health shows. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.